Good morning, beloved. This morning, our devotional is 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 5 to 9. The Word of God says, What after all is Apollos, and what is Paul? Only servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord has assigned to each his task. I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God has been making it grow. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who makes things grow. The one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose, and they each will be rewarded according to their own labor. For we are co-workers in God's service. You are God's field, God's building. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, help us to look to you as our teacher. Look to you as our nourisher that we would grow by, not by our own power by the power of men but by the, your power in our lives Father we pray this in Jesus name Amen uh, last week we dealt with carnality and divisions in the church and today we see this great truth that we began to see last week but today it unfolds completely that the divisions came from what seemed to be a good reason you see, the, the problem is they were saying, I follow Paul, I follow Apollos. The divisions weren't uh, a matter of some uh, worldly discussion, but what they thought would be a godly discussion. And that's the problem. What, after all, is Apollos and what is Paul? Only servants through whom you came to believe as the Lord has assigned to each his task. The worker is not that important. Of course, God calls us, but the message is what's important. You receive the message of God through the worker God has called. I planted the seed. Apollos watered it. But God has been making it grow. And beloved, we can extend this uh, beyond the idea of just a pastor, maybe of, of a pastor, and understand that we have this problem even uh, in uh, sometimes in uh, evangelism. See, I've heard people say, oh, I, I only listen to this Christian because they, they shared the gospel with me. And beloved, that's, that's a problem. You see, they, they won't listen uh, to God through other servants. They won't listen to God through his word. They only go to the servant. The seed is what's important. It's the word of God. It's not the worker. And beloved, I would love to say that pastors are the most important but uh, really, uh, we're not. The, it's the message, the Word of God, that's what's important. And we need to be united as a people in the Word of God, not divided because we listen to one person or another. Instead, be united in the Word of God, in the Lord, in the Holy Spirit, in the gospel of Jesus Christ. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God makes things grow. What's important? God is important. And if we have God in us, if we receive salvation by the Lord Jesus Christ, have been made a new creature and have received the Holy Spirit, having God in us, we need to be united. That is, divided maybe because we speak a different language, uh, we come from a different place, but united in one spirit, beloved. That's what's important, to set aside these divisions. The one who plants and the one who waters have one purpose, and they will each be rewarded according to their labor. We have a purpose, but the purpose is assigned by God, and the reward we receive comes from God. When you share the gospel with someone, the reward you receive is from God. You have a purpose. You're called to share the gospel, to go and make disciples of people, to share the Lord Jesus Christ, and then receive the reward from the Lord, for we are co-workers in God's service. Apollos and Paul, Paul says, are co-workers. And beloved, you and I are co-workers in the Lord's service. And you are God's field, God's building. Beloved, we need to stop being divided and be united 
in one spirit, in one hope, in one mission, the mission of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you as you go about your day.